Hi guys and ladies, I'm not much of a soup guy. I want solid food to sink my teeth into. Well, I found a fish soup recipe online though that looks hearty, meaty, satiating, and satisfying. And I have all the ingredients. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, except one, the fish. Time to go fishing again. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. It's been raining on and off all day today. Let's see if we could dodge it and still catch fish for our soup. Let's start off using this. It's a Senko four inch worm on a worm hook and I'll reserve the right to switch baits. Let's hurry out there before more rain comes in. This is a perfect size for eating. In Lake Ketchabiguan, we keep the small ones and throw back the big ones. That's for the ecology of the lake. Read the notes below. <laughs> wow, small but perfect for eating. That's two fish in two casts. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to this little paddle tail worm. <laughs> Just having fun. Come on. <laughs> Fishing is so easy today. Good eater. I forgot the basket today. Got one. I'll be done. First I thought I had a log and it was caught up in a log and then the fish swam away with just the worm and no log. Oh yeah, perfect eating fish. 11 and three quarters. Nice one. Quite nice. Oh my gosh, you're very nice. Oh goodness, yes. Oh baby. Oh, he's taken under the boat there. He's taken it. Let's bring him over here. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. I knew there were big fish in Lake Catch a big one. Just a matter of time. Well, this one's going back in to reproduce and to thrive. And we'll catch them again. Let's measure. 16, 16 inches. Ooh, I'm so happy. Look what I did. I put on a new worm and I took those wire weed guards off. They're not doing much good. Right there. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I, I had reeled in, reeled in, and I was finished, you know. And right under the boat, he grabbed the worm just before I lifted it out of the water. That's not a bad fish. 12 and a half, we have to return him. Gosh, that was close to the boat. I think he had it for like a half hour. I thought I felt something. This is an eating fish. <laughs> oh yeah, fishing is easy. Look at this, six bass. That's more than I need for this soup. Let's get back to the house and we'll fillet them. Here it is the next day and once the rain stopped, fishing was easy. Look, I quickly 
caught enough to give us over a pound and a half of fish fillets. So let's get to our hearty meaty soup. The first thing I need to do is chunk our fish up into like one inch pieces. I've got a big handful of fresh uh, basil here. I don't know what to do with it. The recipe is unclear. It doesn't say to chop it. So we're going to leave it in big chunks. Hmm. I guess I can remove this. Looks like a cactus. I'll just put it in this bag and I'll put it aside. I need one carrot coarsely chopped and all I could find were these babies. This'll do. Here's a jalapeno. I need to dice it up finely. This is a loaf of low carb bread. I'm gonna use half of it to make garlic croutons. So I laid our croutons in this baking sheet and I've got Italian seasoning here. It's mostly oregano. That's two tablespoons. Here's one tablespoon of garlic powder. That's all you need. You don't need real crushed garlic or whatever. One half teaspoon of salt. When in doubt, always go one half teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna mix this with our hands. Come back later. Call me crazy. You're supposed to drizzle olive oil over this, but look how easy it is if you use olive oil spray. Okay, I'm putting them in the oven for 14 minutes at 350 degrees. It's been 14 minutes. Our croutons should be done. Eh. Yeah. They look like croutons. The recipe says, in the olive oil, do whatever. It doesn't say olive oil in the ingredients, so I don't know. I'm just gonna cover the bottom. In this uh, Dutch oven, I'm gonna put eight ounces of celery. Convenience, pre-chopped onions, eight ounces. How about chopped green peppers? Also, convenience. In goes a heaping teaspoon of this chopped minced garlic. Is this what they call a mirepoix? I'm gonna cover this. Gonna let it cook for 10 minutes at least. I forgot the carrots. Oh, don't forget carrots. Diced tomatoes, 12 ounces, and it's got basil, garlic, and oregano. Perfect. Look it, a whole quart of low sodium chicken broth. Let's add it. Starting to resemble a soup. Look at this, balsamic vinegar. It says a splash. It's been at least 15 minutes. Let's put the fish in. I just remembered the jalapenos. Oh, it's never too late for jalapenos. While our soup is simmering, I might as well tell you all that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner tonight. You know, we've been seeing each other for 50 years yet. I'm too shy to talk about getting married. And well, she's never raised the subject either. And I wonder how I can Get on that subject of getting married. It's done. <laughs> Look, I'm going to take the soup out of the pot. Look how thick that is. And I'm ladling it over the basil, remember? Remember our croutons. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me at my low-grade lodgings. And uh, you had a chance to partake in my uh, tomato basil bath soup with homemade croutons. And what did you think? It was very good. And the, pecan, and the salad? Oh, yes, pecan, with pecans cranberry and salad. cranberries. Yes, everything was delicious. Oh, thank it you. It was very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, Miss Cheeks, uh, oh, I can say Lulu now, right? Yes. Mm. I thought we might watch a, a couple of movies. You see, I have oh. here my big fat Greek wedding okay. and father of the bride. And don't you just love wedding movies? Actually, I like watching them in reverse. Reverse, why reverse? I, I like seeing the bride lead the church a free woman. Oh. Uh, can I have a hug?